Hi, this time I want to show you an everyday blending job using Stando Blue Base Coat and Stando Blue Color Blend. The gun I'm using is a 1.2, just like in the other videos that you will have seen previously. I'll be using two cups to do the job. First one with the blender, second one with the ready for use base coat. In this case I'm using the standard blender and I've adjusted my base coat to have the same speed. We do of course have slower versions should the climate dictate it. Firstly, I'm going to spray the blender to the blend panels, here and here. Now at this point I have some choices to make with the blender. What I can do is I can either apply it to the full panel or, like on the door here, where I have quite some room to make the blend, I can stop the blender short. The blender itself is applied in one closed coat or if you prefer you can do it in two lighter or medium coats. Having applied the blender, I'll change the pot on the gun, get my colour, and the idea is then that I take my colour and I spray to the widest area first using almost like a light effect coat to create the blend here before repeating the same process here to make my blend before finalising the job with one and a half coats in the middle. Two key points. One is don't go beyond the blend area that you've already created and two, it's essential that you make sure that you close the texture between the blender and the base coat to give you a nice uniform fill. Let's take a look at the base coat now then before uh, we flash it off in readiness for clear. If you remember I was talking about this area where I needed to make that nice connection between the new base coat and the blender. You'll see that everything is uniform and consistent there. Nice stretch, a structure on the repair panel, everything looks good. Coming down into the second blend panel, you recall I came out here again. I don't see any issues with mottling, clouding, no sign of any halo. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to flash it off now ready for uh, clear coat. Here's the base coat then just after flash. Let's take a quick look at a couple of things before I apply the clear. You remember in the wet condition I was showing you this area where I spoke about this connection between the base coat and the blender to make sure that everything was uniform and consistent. Well, if you take a look, you can see everything is super smooth. No problems at all, no coarseness, no openness. Can have a really good surface there for the clear. Let's take a look at the door itself where the repair was. Very uniform base coat appearance everything looks fine there. Coming to the final blend panel, blending area here, again the use of the blender really helping me to get this uniformity and consistency over which I know when I apply the clear coat I'm going to have no wetting problems, no dye back and I'll get really good gloss from the gun. That's the bake cycle complete, time to remove the masking, refit the door handles Take the car outside for a final look.
let's take a look at the final job then before we give it back to the customer. As you can see, looking closely, good blend. No halo, no sign of any clouding or mottling, nothing to be unhappy about there. Very good mottling control, effect orientation on the door, perfect hiding in one and a half coats. Similarly, on the rear fender, the transition into the blender, everything is very smooth. Just what we're looking for. Thanks, see you again soon. It is important to check the climate before adjusting the base coat. Refer to the TDS climate guide to help you. Choose your blender to match the setting of the base coat. Apply your blender to the areas surrounding the repair. This can be to a complete panel or a partial panel depending on the repair size and blending area available. Do not allow it to flash off before applying your base coat. Apply a light effect coat to the widest point, finishing inside the blender. A second light effect coat is sprayed inside of the first, ensuring the blender and base coat are merged as a continuous film. These two coats complete the blending process. Apply your base coat as normal over the repaired area. Do not go beyond the blending areas which you created at the beginning.